a nightmare. <laughs> nightmare I'll never wake up from. I will never forget that phone call. Donna Rivenberg lost her daughter back in October. She was killed in a tragic limo accident that also claimed the lives of 19 other people. Good evening and thank you for joining us. What should have been a night of fun turned into sorrow and grief for those families on October 6th. Investigators saying that limo should not have been on the road after they found multiple mechanic issues with it. The owner now charged with manslaughter and homicide. And while Rivenberg says she'll never forget that call, Jamie DeLine from our sister station in Albany shows us how Scoharry will not be forgetting those victims. The Amsterdam and Schoharie communities coming together to eat, drink, and take part in an auction. All proceeds going towards a new permanent memorial for the victims of the Schoharie limo crash. News 10's very own John Gray emceeing the fundraiser. And for the first time this evening, the memorial's design was unveiled to the public. They did an awesome job. They worked very hard on it. The design was created by members of the Reflections Memorial Foundation. The victims' families even having a say in what it would look like. They asked us for our input, and it's, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be where we can go and sit, cry. <laughs> I do that on a daily basis, um, and it's, it's just going to be beautiful. The memorial will be located at the crash site in Schoharie and will not only pay tribute to the victims, but also to the emergency response agencies called to the scene. A lot of the memorial's design is derived from Native American symbols. So what you see here is the sky dome. This is like the broader architecture. The celestial tree is at the top of the sky dome. The flowers underneath the sky dome represent Mother Earth. There will also be a quote and stepping stones will be placed at the memorial, each imprinted with the victim's shoe prints. However, one will be blank to represent everyone else who's been impacted by the crash. Yeah, I love that they're going to leave the blank stone for everyone and just a place to sit and be able to think on it and, and talk to them a little bit. The foundation is hoping that the memorial will be completed by October 6th in time for the one year anniversary. They're all here with us. I know that. I know Amanda's here. And I know they're smiling down on us. As hard as it is. But I know they're all here. Reporting.